Okay, so far we've talked about REST API in theory. The previous unit was mainly about theory and not really specific to JAX RS or really about Java at all, right? It was about REST API, what a good design for a REST API is. And we actually designed the REST API for an application we called Messenger. It's kind of like a social media application where people can post messages and comment on it and have profiles and all that stuff. So in this unit, we're gonna switch gears. We're gonna actually start writing some code. And it's obvious we're gonna use uh, Java and JAXRS to implement these REST APIs. So before we start writing the code, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what JAXRS is. So in Java, we have libraries for everything, right? So we have a library to read a file. We have libraries to handle collections. Uh, we have libraries which write XML, JSON, and all that stuff. So pretty much anything you want to do, there's very likely going to be a library for it. Now, considering that REST APIs are so popular, you would guess that there is a library for writing REST APIs in Java, and you would be right. There are actually several REST API libraries, and uh, you have libraries like REST Easy, REST Let, and uh, there is Jersey, of course, which is what we're going to be using in this course. So there are a whole lot of libraries which let you write REST API applications. I am also mentioned that you don't really need a library uh, to write REST API applications, right? So you can write simple server applications which can do a REST API request response. But the library kind of makes things simple, so you don't have to do everything yourself. So considering that there are all these different libraries, now the next question is, which library do you choose? to learn, right? So do you want to learn RESTlet? Do you want to learn REST easy because it's got easy in the name? Why would you want to learn just Jersey? And you know, if you make a choice, how much effort does it take to learn another library? Well, the good news is, if you learn one of these libraries, you've pretty much learned them all. Because what has happened is all these different libraries follow a common interface. They follow a common API. They implement a common API. So the API that you learn is common across all these different libraries. So you learn Jersey, you've learned them all, or you've learned Restlet, you've learned them all, because they all follow the common API. And once you've written code, which others to that API, you can kind of, you know, let's say you're implementing in Jersey, you can actually take Jersey out and put Rest Easy in, and it should still work seamlessly. So the API is the same. So this common API is called JAXRS. And that's actually what we're gonna be learning in this course. That's why the title of this course is not building RESTful APIs with Jersey, it's building RESTful APIs with JAXRS. And once you've learned JAXRS, all these different libraries which implement JAXRS are at your disposal. You can actually use any of those libraries. And again, like I said, you can plug and play. You write an application using one, you can take that library out and use another library which implements JAXRS and your application should still work. The way it works is something like this. The JAXRS API that we will learn and use in this course is a bunch of interfaces and annotations. We will use a lot of these annotations in the subsequent tutorials. And this is what we'll learn in this course. This is the core of learning how to write REST APIs with JAXRS because this is JAXRS. In this course, we'll be writing code which uses a lot of classes from here. Then how does Jersey fit into the picture? The thing is, while this has all the JAXRS interfaces and annotations, it doesn't have any functionality. You need classes that implement these interfaces and read these annotations. That's where libraries come in. These libraries, they look at your code and see where you've called the JAXRS APIs and then they do the actual work. Okay, so you've built your application and you need to deploy it on a server like Tomcat. You need, to, you need to include one of these libraries with your application so that there is some library in the Tomcat uh, instance that does the actual work that the API promises to do. So what you would typically do is, one, you write your application using JAXRS, using the APIs, uh, using those interfaces and annotations and all that, and two, you deploy your application to Tomcat along with the JAXRS API classes and a library of your choice. 
the API classes is because you're using those classes and a library of your choice because that's the library, that's what does the actual work. The good news here is you don't have to include these two different things. Every JAXRS library comes with a copy of these API classes already. So you just include the library of your choice with your uh, application and you can just plop this thing into Tomcat and it'll work. So that's the advantage of JAXRS. You can seamlessly replace one library with the other, like I've already told you. Uh, because your application depends on just the API classes, interfaces and annotations, right? That's the first thing. And second thing, because every JAXRS implementation has a copy of those API classes, this works seamlessly. Okay, so now to address the other question about which library to learn. Well, we've established that the choice of library doesn't matter. You can choose REST easy, you can choose Apache Wink or Jersey or whatever. Uh, but why did I choose Jersey for this course? I chose Jersey because it's what's called a reference implementation. This really is what it sounds like. It's like a model implementation for the API. And this implementation is built by a lot of the same people who designed the API specification itself. So if you have to pick one library, at least for the purpose of learning, you cannot go wrong by picking the reference implementation. So that's a brief overview of what JAXRS is. Uh, we're gonna be using Jersey in this course, but again, that shouldn't scare you. You wanna use another library, you can actually do so and actually follow along in this course. Um, I tend to use uh, Jersey a lot when I'm talking about JAXRS, but note that they are interchangeable. So in the rest of your course, whenever you hear me say, okay, Jersey does this or Jersey does that, I'm basically meaning it's Jack's RS, which does it. You can actually take Jersey out from my sentences and plug in your favorite library and you should still be good. So that's Jack's RS in a nutshell. In the next tutorial, we can actually set up our project to write code using Jack's RS in Jersey.